Hi, I'm your National Food Bro, Daniel, and today I have with me the Singapore Lian. Hi everyone, this is Arabelle, and I absolutely love hanging out with this guy because it means makan time! Well, and today we're in this totally special place that uh, transports us all the way to Cuba. And this is as close to Havana as we can get. But hey people, we're still in Clark Hill, huh? And the food is made by a real Cuban chef. First dish, please! Why not? So, Singaporean, can you tell me what this dish is? Ropa Vieja. <laughs> hey, try pronouncing the name. La. Ropa, Ropa Vieja. Vieja. Actually, this is a beautiful national dish from Cuba and it's got a really sad story behind it. So it is said that back in the 19th century, uh, people were very poor and they couldn't afford food for the families. And so there was this old man who actually shredded up his own clothes and cooked it for his family. So therefore, you get these uh, shredded beef right here on top. This layer at the bottom that is a little bit crispy um, is actually a fried fruit. Let's looks, guess what it is. Looks like banana. Goreng pisang. Actually, you're quite smart. La. But it's not going pisang. La. This is Latin America, okay? The banana big over there, so it's called tostones. <laughs> Lovely, right? So this dish is the national dish. We're going to be diving into it, shall we? Yes. Oh. So you just take the whole thing, okay? And then you pop it into your mouth. Cheers, people! Super yummy. Screamy also. Wow. This looks like Cuban curry puffs. This is called empanadas. It is not Cuban alone, but um, I think in general, this um, curry puff looking thing, empanadas, is enjoyed by people who are living in the Southern European region as well as the Latin American um, and even the Philippines. This sauce looks special also. Look like balachan, right? Mm. Everything to him is like local. No, no, no. You see, Singaporeans love to eat chili. So our chef all the way from Cuba understand the local taste preference. So he created this uh, chili paste. Um, it is actually uh, consisting of chili as well as uh, onions, um, roasted garlic, and also I think there's a little bit of this uh, capsicum. Wow. Yeah, so it's all blended to give you that uh, heat as you eat um, the empanadas with it. So he's taking the one Chuban at the dapa. bottom. I'm going to take the one on top. Cheers. Cheers. It is tapas time. Oh. We're going to dip it and coat it into the sauce. How's it? Mm, wow. Very meaty. They are not yum with the ingredients. Mm. So I totally enjoyed this dish. Um, it's actually quite filling though. As you can see that there's a layer of the crust outside, uh, which is really quite nice when you bite it. It's got lots and lots of feelings in there. Very emo, uh, this curry puff. Feeling. Feeling, okay. <laughs> um, plus on top of that, I also see that there's some uh, vegetables in there too. Ah, healthy diet, not bad, right? So, hmm, there you go. I'm going to finish my puff and panadas. Mine is gone already. <laughs> this one doesn't need further introduction, right? We can just dive into it, right? I need. You eat lah. This is called tacos. Tacos. You know what tacos is? You know where it comes from? Taco Bell. Oh, I just want ding dong bell. <laughs> tacos is from Mexico, okay? So it's really lovely. Um, this one has got feelings as well and it sits nicely on a sheet of flour tortilla. And cheers. Woo. Cheers. <laughs> throw everything into your mouth. Nice, juicy looking. Take a look at this. Yeah. Sorry, it's I couldn't some, wait. It's uh, got some nice... Uh, yeah, it's okay. Uh, I'm trying to show everybody, you know, a clearer view of what's inside the tacos. And it's also got uh, some nice coriander as well as um, uh, parsley, I believe. Yeah, chopped tomatoes and what have you. Tomatoes. <laughs> Must correct myself after phonics class. Ah. Mm. It's a medley of flavours. Mm. Ta-da! This is our next dish and it's called the roast pork. Woohoo! Siu ba and goreng pisang. <laughs> okay, there is goreng pisang, but it's not goreng pisang like it's called tostones. Okay, and then there's the siu ba, which is the roasted pork, and uh, also there's another layer of rice in between, and that is actually uh, the Cuban rice, the Cuban version of rice. 
it's a very interesting dish. Um, normally, you know, like the Cubans, when they have this dish, the roasted pork, um, they have it in the plate um, with the rice, of course, which is a Cuban rice that is uh, cooked with black beans and therefore the colour. And then, of course, the uh, tostones is usually like a side dish, you know, like where you place the vegetables. And then the roasted pork, let's flank on it. Um, but today, as you can see, we have actually this version, which is called a one-biter version, the tapas version. And the chef here, Alex, is so smart. He knows that people come into Cuba Libre and they want to have drinks and chill and uh, dine at the same time. So he recreated this traditional roasted pork dish into a tapas. So beautiful, right? So it's got layer, the roast pork, and then you have the rice, and then you have the tostones. Let's see if we can finish it in one bite. Okay, this is Dan doing the one biter. Whoa. <laughs> Really, yeah. Good one. <laughs> yeah, sorry, your mouth is still very small. <laughs> I am testing how steady my hands are. Okay, at least I lasted for five seconds over there, right? Minimum. <laughs> Alright, so, bon appetit. I'm gonna enjoy this. Whoa, I'm gonna try the Cuban rice first. Never tried the Cuban rice before. Although I know Dan is very excited about the pork, he's probably wiping it mm. up already. Here you go. Hmm. Mmm. Okay, so this is the best part. Always saving the best for last, and that's moi going to show you ha <laughs> ha the crackling part. Woohoo! It's going into my tummy. Ow. It's doing the bachata inside already. Well, wow. colors, 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 lots of uh, vitamins in these vegetables. I feel healthy just looking at this Very dish. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you have to because we've been having lots and lots of meats, right? Um, every dish we had earlier on is like there are meats in it. And so, let's go on a lighter note right now. We do some uh, greens right over here, but they're not all greens. Uh -huh. It's got red, it's got uh, yellow, it's got white, it's got purple. It's so beautiful, right? So this is actually a very typical of the uh, Latin Americans, uh, especially in Spain, you know, people eat roast, roasted vegetables. So they have it laced with uh, olive oil. It's gonna go heavy on the vegetables. Wow, some chilies as well. Um, I think this is my favorite dish. Mm, I love the roasted garlic. It tastes very different from mm, the Chinese way of cooking. Yeah. So off camera, I was asking the chef why he included mm. French fries. So why? He wanted to give it a bit more of a crunch and texture, so it lends a different kind of dimension to the dish. Hmm, clever. Okay, so this is our final dish. We have to end it on a sweet note. Churros and ice cream. Yes, yes. Churros. Yes. I'll have a little bit of the ice cream. Wow, I love the cinnamon powder. Mm. Okay, this is definitely in the top three. I'm messing up again. <laughs> Being three dish done and having tried uh, some of the star dishes on Cuba Libre's brunch menu, what are your top picks? Well, my top picks are the tacos, the roasted vegetables, and the churros with ice cream. Ooh. Honorable mention goes to... Ta-da! And panadas! So this is Latin American fusion food that you can get in Singapore. What do you think? leave your comments below. If you have any other recommendations, leave your comments below as well. Remember to hit the like, subscribe and notification bell button. This is Daniel, your National Food Bro. Thank you.